Hello everyone. This is the third and final part of the how to make a spiral staircase video. In this episode, production of a spiral handrail is demonstrated. The movable carriage with an adjustable roller is a very convenient upgrade to the tube roller. It is manufactured by the Italian company Galileo. For a short run production, I do not recommend bending the handrail in one piece. First reason is that the standard length of the pipe may simply not be enough for your handrail. Another reason is that you can't run it again through the rollers to correct the diameter or the pitch. This is why I do it in few pieces. I use a 1.5 OD 16 gauge tube. It is more convenient to work with it and easy to install on the staircases. Typical side rollers, which are adjustable in height, can be used. Be sure to draw a mark on the tube in order to know in what position to put it again. Then we do pass by pass, until we get the desired result. If there are no side rollers, then you can use a vice grip with a pipe handle extension. Apply a twisting force, and it will create a handrail pitch. Do that at the same intervals and with the same force applied. Check your handrail as follows. Draw a circle on the floor and divide it into segments as shown in this drawing. The first 10 degrees are needed for the end of the tube, which will not bend properly. Then, set up square pipes and weld some supports or shelves. These support structures repeat the pitch of our handrail. The calculation of these dimensions is explained here on a specific example. So, whoever needs it, pause the video and read it. We check our handrail periodically to correct the diameter and the pitch. The main thing is not to bend too tight, otherwise starting over will be easier than trying to fix it. The flat radius of the rolled tube is approximately 30% larger than the radius of the staircase itself. Now, we will pre-cut our balusters. The longest baluster is 4 feet, and every other one is 2 inches shorter. Tack weld the longest balusters that interconnect the treads. They help distribute the load to the adjacent treads. By code, the staircase must withstand 300 pounds of concentrated load. Next, line up the balusters parallel to the central pole. Doing this visually is more accurate and faster than using a level. This is the jig I use to install the handrail concentric with the center pipe. The upper clamp is able to move in any direction, and the jig itself is adjustable in length. The minimal staircase diameter depends on the minimum walkway width by the building code. It is shown here. Attach the jig to the central pipe and install our handrail.
This staircase is 6 feet in diameter. The upper end of the handrail gets clamped to the post. I usually use 4 to 5 jigs to set up my handrail tube in place. Before welding both pieces together, the diameter must be checked and corrected.
Next step. Add the rest of the longest balusters. Then, mark the positions of the remaining balusters and tack weld all but one. We leave this space open making it easier to weld the risers dividers to comply with the 4-inch building code. The next step is to weld the top ends of the balusters and the bottom ends of the longest balusters. Try to distribute the welding heat evenly. Skip some treads and then come back. Now, we can weld the risers dividers and grind the welds. Then, we add our last balusters. And only now we can start to weld the lower ends of the balusters. If necessary, realign the balusters by moving the bottom ends so that they are parallel to the central pipe. Trim the bottom ends so that they are even with the treads. Then, trim the upper end of the handrail and move the post to its final position.
Do the same with the bottom end of the handrail. Also, you can grind welds on both sides of the balusters. Add the railing to the landing platform. Here is our finished staircase, and it's ready to be painted. Staircases with horizontal rails are made in pretty much the same way, except I use a flat bar with slots, into which I put round rods bent into a spiral shape. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video.